So I have this beautiful space base here on the planet that we have terraformed into this beautiful oasis. But today something new has appeared. And it is this right here, a portal generator. Allows you to reach distant wrecks with unique items to find. There's some crazy things like energy multiplier fuse that I've not seen before, so it's time to start crafting. Now we are gonna need a fusion energy cell, which has obsidian in it, and I don't exactly remember where that is. But thankfully in my teleporter, I do have a teleporter for the lava land, which should have these things that are gonna give us obsidian. Oh yeah, beautiful quantities of it. Thank you game i appreciate you wow this place looks crazy too there's also a little uncommon insect crawling around too bad he can live there he doesn't get to go home with me or you know there already was a chest here with a buttload of obsidian in it but whatever next thing we'll do is teleport to osmium land and grab a few of these looks like the drones are picking them up that's fine i only needed four and now i should be able to craft two fusion energy cells Woo! these are probably very expensive but that's fine, we're in late game stuff anyway. I'm also gonna turn off the production of these because this is what is eating up all of my other resources. So let's just turn those off for a little bit. And now we're gonna figure out how to make the energy fuse multiplier after I eat some raw beans because they're delicious and drink some water directly out of the lake because I made it. I literally made that lake. And there's fish swimming around it. How cool is that? Now I've looked at pretty much everything here and I am not seeing a way to make those energy fuse multipliers. So I think the only way to get it is through the trading rockets. Uh, yep, energy, where is it? Energy fuse, ball, that's 6,000 each. I only have 6,000 tokens and I need two of them. Thankfully there are quite a few pulsar quartzes in that one and in this one, yeah. So let's order one of these and we're gonna launch the trade rocket. Goodbye, little friend. We can also find these fuses in the new portal areas that we're going to. Kinda bothers me that the thing had no sound on launch. Maybe we'll put some in in post. So let's fill this one up with two more pulsar quartzes here. And we can't really afford it, but I'm just gonna launch this anyway. Actually, let's just try. Launch. Okay. Could we go negative? I don't really know. I'm guessing it calculates when it comes back. But if it doesn't, we're still gonna need like 5,000 more points. So time to get farming. Hey, oh, new spaceship's coming back. It's 475 though, that puts me at 775. Woo! I need 5,225 more tokens. That's like 200 more pulsar quartzes. But the good news is that I should have the one thing I need. Yeah, there we go, energy multiplier fuse. Whee, that's expensive. So I think we're gonna set up a little bit more industry. Ooh, more terror tokens. We're gonna make some silk out of these and in order to do that, we need some silk worms. Silkworms, why aren't you here, buddy? I need, okay, I got my three silkworms and I'll need some oxygen. That's not where oxygen lives. Ooh, this guy's back. All right, please, it'd be amazing if you brought the thing. Yeah, I didn't have one because there was not enough money to bring it. Shoot! Now we'll grab an oxygen and then a zeolite. We don't have any in there, but there should be some. Yep, there's plenty here. All right, can I just turn this on again? I think we can. We'll just turn, ooh, hello. Production multiplayer fuse. You're not making it. Where did that come from? Machine optimizer. Maybe it did come from something. And that's the fuse up there. Hold on, what happens if I put this in here? Does it show up in top? Weird. Huh. It's crazy. I want that back. It's expensive. But let's turn on the pulsar quartzes again, and we should be making quite a few of those up. And we shall build another silk generation station. I, I kind of want to move this one, so let's destroy it. No, I can't. I don't want to destroy the big room, you dingus. Silk generator in my pants. And we'll make another silk generator out here. Beautiful, I shouldn't need to do anything else with it. It'll just make me unlimited amounts of silk. And the silk we can turn into fabric. And with the fabric, we can sell each of these for eight money to the stock market. So if I come in here, we can build those. I can just control click, make them all good. And just like such as we have a whole bunch of those 10 times eight, that's what 80 plus 32. I can't, I can't math right now. 80, 30, 112 more tokens. That's a good amount. We just need 50 times that. But thankfully, Pulsar Quartz are being constructed again. 
And we have plenty of osmium, so we can craft more of these fusion energy cells. Now, these things bring us slightly more money. These are worth 80 Terra tokens compared to the 25 of these. We can also sell some of the rockets we've collected from other locations. I don't know how many we'll need. And right there, my friends, is another very successful trip to the space station. I don't know how much this is going to be. Current inventory, another 400. So it looks like my production of pulsar quartzes is really stunted by the lack of osmium. So if we go back over to that cave, I should be able to plop into the shop another T5 ore extractor, right? Like so. Let's attach that there. And now we're going to tell this thing only to grab the osmium because ain't nobody got time for anything else. Yeah. Also, hey, little buddy, how are you? You're kind of, oh, another one. They're duplicating. I'm scared. Why are there so many larvas here? Also, I have no recollection of this. We, we're, we're, nope, we have to supply this, right? We supply the osmium and then the drones will take it. I think that's how it works. Now, I've just thought to my brain, it said that making this is really resource intensive. Not resource intensive per se, but it's just time consuming. And to get a gain of five uh, whatever it's called, five terror tokens. I don't think that's really worth the trouble of building those, especially when these pulsar quartz go pretty quickly. So I think making some more of these other things, like the fabric that we're doing with the silk and uh, these iridium rods, I think that could be beneficial. The rocket engines are all right. I didn't even remember there were cookies in the game. Bacteria samples are kind of annoying, but we might be able to work it out. So the high quality food is honey and beans. We do have a honey hive outside. Or we used to anyway. Are you still are you still honey? Oh, there's the honey. I knew I still had some. And then these are making cocoa. That's to make the cookie farm. <gasps> I was ahead of myself. Look at this. Woo! Thank you, all your bees, for your delicious cocoa beans. We're gonna make uh hot chocolate. Oh, and I forgot we had to have wheat for it too. And it was the cooking station. My goodness. It's been a long time since I played this game. So yeah, the, the chocolate goes into flour and then that makes the cookie. I also have no idea where we're getting milk and eggs, but I don't really care right now because I get cocoa pretty soon. Give me some delicious chocolate. I need one more. Oh, hello, cookie. I made one cookie. That might not be worth the effort. Ooh, hello. I have a birthday cake. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday today. I know somebody watching this video, it's your birthday. I made literally one cookie with all of that. Yeah. Increases running speed. My goodness, that'd be nice. Going sonic faster on these parts. Where are the beehives though? Can I just... No? I mean, there's bees floating around. We got flower petals over here. I may have removed them because the frogs ate them all. Well, if we don't have enough beehives, it's just time to make some. We'll grab some of the bees. We'll run by your indoor fishy tanks because I love aquariums. And then we'll find the existing honey hives that I have, and I didn't even remember that were there. But at least I can build a few more of them, and I also don't know why I need them, because you can't sell raw honey to the honey farmers, but whatever. I'm just gonna grab it all. Oh, that one made me a baby bee, too. It's kind of weird. But thank you for your service. We can also clear out some of our uranium and iridium supplies. Check in our trunk here for quite a few things that we probably aren't gonna use. I know in these ones as well, there's some more rods. So we can launch off one trade rocket to go, and then the other one we can fill up with some other good stuff and launch this one too. I mean, it's getting there. We're over a thousand now. Oh yeah, 735 more tokens on the way down. Ooh, and 589 more coming from stage number two, which is nice because I've got an inventory full of trash that I am ready to slap back into this rocket as soon as it lands. Nice, get over there and get back into space. I don't know how much more that's gonna be. I probably should have looked at the little chart that told me how much more it was gonna be. I'm kind of lazy. Lazy, though. All right, I'll be real. I'm not lazy. It's just the YouTuber way to like not see the things directly in front of your face. So uh, my large brain has a different idea. I know it's kind of surprising that I have ideas sometimes. My idea is that I can turn on this little like button that auto launch. Where's, where's the auto? Auto launch when full. And zoom and take off. It didn't go. Launch it. I think that might have been why I never had it on to begin with, is because it never seemed to work properly. 
But then I can go AFK for like a couple hours and then come back and we have all the stuff we need. So that's exactly what I did. Let the game go AFK for a while now. We have 6,745 thingamabobbers. All we need to do now is to purchase another one of the thingamaboobers in here. I don't even know the right words. Energy multiplier fuse. Got it. Launch trade rocket. Go, my friend, with... We still no sound. That's cool. At least I have footsteps. That's nice. Always nice having feet. Oh, and bugs. And since so it has been literally all weekend, I really need to know what this thing is again. Okay, two energy fusion cells, two energy multiplier fuses, super alloy rods. Good thing I brought a bunch of super alloy that we can take into here and go spoop, spoop. I need aluminum. Or sorry, you Europeans. Aluminium or whatever kind of broken word you call it. It clearly says aluminum, not aluminum. Actually, my, I don't know, is there a different spelling? I'm not quite one of them smart people. So I think we have everything else. Let me double check. Uh, uh huh. We have energy fusion cells. Check. We have circuit boards. Ooh. One, two circuit boards. We have the energy multiplier fuse. And now we need a microchip compass. Is that in here? No, I believe it's in this thingy. Microchip compass map. Menu, compass, silicon, magnesium, aluminum, aluminum. Please tell me I have enough aluminum, aluminum. And voila. Is that Spanish? What is voila? Is that Italian? A voila. Void, I don't know. But the good news is we'll just sit here and wait for the next rocket to show up and then we can build our teleporter of doom. Oh, glorious space shuttle of blue shininess and no sound. Please give me the things my heart desires. That's actually the wrong one. I'm supposed to be getting it from the middle one. Oh, space shuttle number two. I actually did build a third one. I don't know if that got on the video or not. But yeah, I built the third one because we had just a little bit production that was off. And now three seems to be a good number. Also, they were fairly cheap. And we got the energy cell that we've been looking for. So now I need to build this thing and I have no idea where or if I have enough power to do so. It takes 1,890 energy per second. Our energy draw. That's not energy draw. Maybe the giant lightning bolt. Okay, we have 10 times the amount needed. I used to have a big brain idea that I was gonna go through and like remove all of these in here. Yeah, it, it didn't work. And you remember back like two years ago when we started playing this game, how this ship was like dangerously far away? We wouldn't even be able to breathe when we came in here. I should come back in. I don't know if we've actually done this before. Oh, I just got Trojo eggs, whatever those are. All right, turn on the flashlight. What is there any? Oh, it's thought it. Oh, there's the flashlight. Hey, can I, I scrap that? Hey, neat circuit boards in here. Ha dang. That stuff's expensive junk. Anything else cool? Hello door. That door is not closing. I wish we could just deconstruct everything or make this into it. Oh, balls. I'm going to die of lack of water poisoning. So we'll do a little gulpy gulpy into the lake. I should probably grab one or two waters and some food after I build this thing, of course. Oh, it's not that big. Hmm. Should I build it next to my gigantic mines of doom? Let's do it. There it is. Woo! All right, that's pretty cool looking. Hot dang. We're gonna go through a portal in a second. I'll grab some fresh beans. Combine those beans with some honey to make more high quality food. Grab, I don't know, two vials of water. Is it a vial? I don't know. Drop off the boards of circuiting and head off into the mysterious portal of doom. All right, scan for distant worlds. Oh, materials required? Oh, wow. A difficulty one, difficulty five. We have to have these materials. How do we get this stuff? So what happens if I just rescan? Can I get like a, a difficulty one? Yeah, that's better. All right, difficulty one rarity. I mean, we might as well try this one. We'll open the portal here with the pulsar quartz as I had. You know what? Let's just drop these on the ground and we'll leave them there because we're going in, friends. We're going in. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Do I just continue walking? Whoa. Oh, this place is cool. Ah, oh, dang. All right, we got to find Rex and like other stuff to mine. Uh, I'm so glad I've terraformed this planet because it's terrifying. This is not where I'd like to live. Actually, that is kind of beautiful. Reminds me a bit of Hawaii. Just got to be zooming around here to try to find a wreck. What is this thing? 
Hello, weird creature structure. Oh, I was gonna walk over it. I did see something over here to the left, though. A little box. Hello, little box. Come here and get in my pants. Ah, a flare. We have some terror tokens. All right, we'll take it all. And just because I know that if I don't delete it, then I will eventually go back to it and be like, hey, look, a f ooh, hello, ooh. All right, open storage chest, grab that. What is that, bacteria sample? I mean, none of that stuff is too exciting, especially when we can just use it right away. But I am excited to see what's inside of here. Why are there other wrecks in this planet? That's the real question. Can I delete these? Ah, oh, we just did though. Open door. Hmm, door didn't open. More, more. Yep, can't delete those. Okay. All right, looking good. Nothing in the shelves. Go downstairs. Oh, it's dark down here. <laughs> I'm super scared. Thankfully, there's no animals other than my frogs on this planet yet. What are these? Can I delete them? No. Can I delete this? Yes. This is a big empty spaceport that nobody lives in. Ooh, I haven't been in here yet. Delete that group. We have a, a ceiling snake. Another big open area. Oh, I think that's a loot box. Hello, delicious loot box. Open big safe. Ah, osmium rod. Ooh, that's expensive. Beautiful. Is it raining? Oops. I guess we just dropped a flare here. Sounds like it's raining. Okay, we found like a cockpit room of some sort. There are, there is another box here. I can't delete anything else. Open that one. Ooh, okay, super alloy, we have more. Oh, nice, one of the quasar courses. Kinda know something fun. Oh, <laughs> I was lost, like very badly lost. But I found my way out, thankfully. Now the question is, this place had a wreck on it. Is Are there more wrecks for me to find? Or do I head back to the portal and then go to another zone? I did get some good treasure here. Like one of these things. I think it's probably worth exploring a little bit more. Okay, there's another box right there. The portal is back that way. I always go to the high ground. And we'll see what's inside of this. Okay, more terror tokens, which is super nice. We don't need all of the uh, flares. There seem to be quite a few boxes around here. I wonder if there's different worm types too that we can make into better butterflies. Hmm. Oh, nice, a solar quartz and a magnetar quartz. And that was 500 terror tokens. We gained, wow, how do we have 20,000 of them in here? My goodness. I wasn't paying attention to how much those things were worth. Ooh, a lerma seed. Huh, all right, we don't need these flares. We want these instead. Do I want a flare? All right, we'll do a flare. The Lerma seeds are kind of nice. So we'll take it. One more chest too. Ooh, a Blazar Quartz. Okay, we don't need the Zeolite. We don't need the Obsidian. Those are easy to come by. I mean, so are the bacteria. I'd definitely rather have a tier two fertilizer than a tier one. I can use the Terra Token for another 500. We don't need the nitrogen either. That should be fairly easy. We'll take fertilizer instead. All right, now we head back to the portal before we die. Oh, balls. Oh, don't do not do the dying thing. Also, it's becoming dark clock out. I'm scared to be on an alien planet on an alien planet when it's dark out. Uh, how do I get back? Geronimo! Where do I go? I go over there. All right, can I just cross right over the lava? I should be able to. Jetpack as full fuel. And we'll head back into our portal of doom. <laughs> that is such a cool animation. Reminds me a bit of Astroneer. Nice, and we made it back home immediately. What is that? Oh, just quartz, co cobalt. So we'll start offloading some of the things we don't really need right now. That's a lot of rods, cool. We have a couple of the rockets. They have the red glare. Where do I do? Hmm, maybe I need to remove this thing entirely and build up a better storage container like such as. And then inside of this, we're gonna start putting in more crystals. Neat. There's some good ones in there. I don't even know what they do, but they have to be good. We also have that uh, energy cell that we got. I'm not sure what we use it for other than upgrading our other things. We can put in our mutagens and bacteria samples here. We have our fertilizer going in that station. The plants can go here with the 
other plants. And that, my friends, is the new portal technology. So if you want to check out another video of this, I think we will do more in the future if you'd like to see it. I'm not sure exactly what we can get from it. If there's other rare things that'll help us terraform better or not. Whatever. I don't know. It was fun. And thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Ritten the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ral, BC Engineer, Sakars Marax, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splattersax, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.